Hello, and welcome to Bees and Tea City. I'm your host, Sebastian. And over here we do have Selena. She is, uh, wait, hold on. There we go. She is joining me today, at least for now. We'll see if she stays. Uh, so, welcome to uh, anybody who's new. Uh, welcome back to all you awesome guys who I know have uh, been here before. Um, this is obviously my floss tube, so... Um, I'm going to let that steep a little bit more. Uh, this is my floss tube, so I talk about cross-stitch, um, life updates, that good stuff. Alright, so, um, we'll go ahead and do life updates first. Um, I do have my, um, I know this is a little tardy to the party, but I do have my, um, um, the stuff that I ordered from the, um, uh, market to show. And I'd actually did a good bit of stitching, so I do have a little pile of stitching, so, you know, maybe a little on the longer side, but we'll see. Last time I was surprised that it didn't take quite as long. So, anyway, so, um, life updates. Um, not too much going on. Uh, I think I've told you guys that I am doing a, uh, Disney 5K. Uh, so that is coming up, which means I will not be, um, recording next week. So I apologize for that. Um, it's actually very possible that I may not record that next week after two. Um, I'll try to do something in between. Uh, I, I should have time in between the two. Um, I have something else going on after that. Um, so I will try not to leave you guys for that long. Because, I mean, I know there are some, some very awesome, dedicated people who definitely look forward to um, uh, watching me every week, so, I will, I will try to disappoint you, I promise. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it, um, uh, work hasn't been too bad, uh, cat's been pretty good, and she's shedding everywhere again. Guess it's time to blow that winter coat, huh? Uh, it's been surprisingly warm here, um, we ha today I actually ran the heat for the first time in probably a few weeks, so, um, yeah. Uh, yeah, I guess that's about it, really. Um, you know, as usual, um, I love comments. I read every single one. I respond to every single one. Um, I really enjoy the comments. I, I always say that, um, because it's true, obviously. Uh, so I, I definitely encourage you guys to, uh, sit here and comment. So if you give me one quick moment, please, let me, um, get my tea ready. So I can get my comments. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. Mm. Nummy, 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 nummy tea. Good stuff. Good stuff. All right. So I will also show you what tea that I am um, drinking today. This is the English Tea Store Double Bergamot Earl Grey. So this is a loose um, because obviously I've been... Um, I've been enjoying the loose leaf tea because of um, um, because of the wonderful uh, Brendan and Karen um, who sent me a teacup with a strainer in it. So this is the um, there you go, the strainer and the leftover tea. There we go. Um, as for this tea, I'm not as big of a fan of it as. Um, stashes double bergamot it is good and um the uh, english tea store it, the prices are good um the tea actually is a good quality um just taste wise i didn't enjoy this one as much um there have been some other uh english tea store teas um uh, that i have gotten and i have really enjoyed so i would still recommend them but um i still say if you like the double bergamot go for the um go for the stash so Mm, that's hot. <laughs> mm, okay. Uh, very good, but very warm. That is the one thing about um, actually using my teapot instead of um, just microwaving it. This gets it a lot hotter, which I'm sure brews it a lot better. Um, so, you know, I don't mind it, but <clears throat> it does mean I have to wait a few extra minutes to uh, drink it without scalding myself. So, all right, so comments. Um... Healing Gamer says, uh, I really love seeing all your projects. You really have some great ones. Thank you. I appreciate that. Um, 
you know, I, I'm not going to lie. I really enjoy showing you guys what I've done. Um, I, I don't really want to call it showing off. I mean, I guess it kind of is. But, um, you know, just to, it it's, gives me my progress reports as well as you guys. So, that's why I like it. Uh, Grumpy Stitcher says, um, that sounds like a fun trip minus the snow. See, the problem is, where I went, it's only 90 minutes away from here, but it's up in the mountains, so when they get snow, a lot of times we don't, almost always. So, I actually enjoy the snow. I wasn't a huge fan of the, the, um, the high winds, but, not, I mean, it wasn't dangerously high winds, but it was just... If you went outside, it, like, really cut into you. That sort of wind. So. Um, you didn't name your car. Every car we had, we named it. So, I think I talked about this last week. Um, I did name my first car. I never did my second one, which was kind of a lemon. Um, I didn't have it for a hugely amount of time. When, well, no. I still had it for about... No, I probably still had it for about six or seven years. But, anyway. Um, I have not named my new one yet. Um maybe I can take a picture of, like, the side of it. Um, you know, no, you know, no license plate or anything like that. But, um, maybe have you guys take a look and give, inform give, uh, suggestions. Because I just, I can't think of a good name for it. It's like a, mm, still the hot. Um, it's like a silvery sort of color. Like a gunmetally gray silvery. So it doesn't really loan itself. And no one... I mean, I guess I could call it Lone Ranger, because Lone Ranger is Silver's Horse. Anyway, no, but I can't think, it just, it hasn't really, I've had it for about, mm, probably four or five years now, but I don't know, no name has actually come to me. I, I can't figure a good name out, so maybe you guys can help me out. I'll see. So, maybe watch for Instagram, see if I, if I post a picture of my car. Um, let's see. Uh, off topic question, do you have Discord open on PC every time you get a notification I keep checking mine? No, I don't have um I don't have Discord open. Um because um uh, I have I'm having some problems with my I don't know why. But it always messes up. So um I think the notifications you're hearing are from my phone. Which is not I don't have Discord on my phone. So I think that's that's what you might be hearing. So and I, I try to remember to turn it down, so I apologize. In fact, let me do this. Hold on. Let me turn my phone down. Look, it kind of... Well, my shirt sort of matches. Well, actually, no, this is strange, but I do have this shirt. But anyway. Um, let me turn my volume down. There we go. Okay, volume down. So. So, yeah, I, I do apologize for that. Um, oh, I love the October 31st pattern and your favorite choices for it. Thank you. Um... I need to give that a little bit more love. That one you're not seeing this week. I have not actually worked on it this week. Uh, I did work on it last week if you want to take a look. Um, for anybody who didn't see it last week. And the bee bag is so pretty. Well, yeah, I, I do love uh, Vicky stuff. So, you know. I would, I always, uh, I have way too many for bags. So, <laughs> um, Debbie Sisk says, the new bee bag is fabulous. <laughs> I love her stuff. Thank you. Yeah, again. I have way, way too many Vicky bags, so. Um, you've made some great progress in the Long Dog Sampler. I'll be honest, this is one where I just keep wanting to go back to it. And it is the one that, if I have time to sew, I always, that's the one I'm always going to pick up. And so, I've done, I think, two pages, and I'm maybe a third of the way through the third. Um, I don't want to say it's... 12 or 13 pages, I don't remember exactly, but, um, and that was a January 1st start, so, um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's really been, um, I've really been working hard on it, and I've, I've really enjoyed it, so, I don't know that I've ever been as obsessed with a, with any of things that I've worked on besides this one, I really don't, I don't think I've ever worked on any as hard as I've worked on that one. So. Uh, my white Jeep is raised and has an Angry Eyes grill kit. I love Angry Eyes. And, you know, maybe I'm just perpetually like six years old. But it never ceases to make me laugh when I see a car coming with Angry Eyes. 
I don't know why. It just, it, every time I, I laugh. Um, um, and people see it and, and, uh, tell me it looks like a stormtrooper. I would love to see what your car looks like. Um, I, you know, as you could guess, I, I do love Star Wars, so I would love to see your star, your, um, your stormtrooper car. Jeep. Um, my other car is a solid black Ford Focus that's Darth Vader. Yeah, that would, that would work. Um, I don't, can't think of anything that is in Star Wars that is the particular shade of silver that my car is. So, I may have to go with something other than Star Wars. Oh, well. Um, let's see. <coughs> Excuse me. And finally, Linda Ficatola. I hope I said that right. Um, great seeing you today. Your whips are amazing. Love your choices. and Love Kitty. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. I did give her a pet um, after... Um, as I was responding, just like right now, she's not actually, she's not actually, um, reacting to it. Oh, there we go. I got a little reaction. But yeah, so I'll give her some loving for you. Can you get some kisses? Can I get some kisses? Nope. Mm, but I will give you some scratches. You sure will. Oh, that, oh, there you go. Now I got a little loving. Yes. I'm curious if it, that, if actually, if the sound of her licking showed up, because she licks so loudly, it's so stupid. I love you, you're so sweet, but you do lick louder than any cat I've ever heard. Alright, so, I guess that was the comments, that wasn't too bad time-wise. Um, as usual, there are no finishes, no FFOs, uh, no new starts, so that's, you know, um, occasionally I do get one of, one of those three, but, um, not usually. Let me put these over to the side. Don't need those yet. Those are my, um, oh, I almost forgot. There we go. Forgot to put Beast Corn you up. There you go, B-Man. All right. Anyway. Yeah, now he's up too. Uh, but these are my market releases, so we don't need to look at those yet. We will look at those in a minute. First off... Um, barf checks or stitching or whatever you want to call it. Whoops. Alright. So yeah, I do have there's one or two I don't remember if I worked on since last week, but I think I did. So I'll go ahead and uh, pull them out. Yeah, that bag's a little, a little tweet. Ah, oh, crap. Hold on. Hold on. Everything's falling out of my bag. That's not good. There we go. Okay. And I'm just okay. Ah. Okay, we fell out. Okay, I think we're, yeah, I think we're good. Okay, don't mind me. I'm just having a little bit of a uh, avalanche here. So, this is Hamilton versus Seabury, uh, Farm Reputed, and you can see I've been I've been working over here. So that was one section I did, then another, and, and then yeah, finished working on that part. So you can actually see where I am. So this is how much I have left. That and then that so not a whole lot maybe a third would be my guess so i mean this is entirely possible that i might be able to finish this by july the 4th we'll see um so i believe i was look, do, working on uh look at the cost and lost you i think this was worked on since last week if not i apologize well wow. actually is uh hold on The sun is bright enough. There we go. It's actually showing through a little bit, but there you go. Ta-da! So it's just a whole lot of, whole lot of letters going on, and a few little stars and such. But, but yeah, that one is coming along, and I, I really, really, really want to get it done by July, but we'll see. All right. And yeah, it's cloudy out there, so the, the light is kind of in and out. So I do apologize for that. It may not be best lighting and the lighting in this room is not very good as you can tell you can see that it's a um vaulted ceiling and so you know that that makes lighting a little bit more tricky yep all right this is another one this is the second one that i wasn't 1000 percent sure that i worked on but i wanted to go ahead and show you because I, I really really think that i did work on it um, 
Where is, okay, there we go. So, this is, let me find, although you guys saw, saw what it was, so it's not going to be a surprise, but it is, there we go, Good Omens, um, it's a Good Omens stained glass, there we go. And so that's the whole thing. And once again, I am working up across here. Um, and just up in this last corner, that'll be the last um, uh, the last part of the first row. That's still a lot to go. But, you know what? Now that I think about it, I don't think I have worked on this since last week. So I apologize. Because I think last time I did the yellow and I was working in the flames, maybe I did more of the sword. I don't remember. I think maybe I was working on the sword. Maybe I did work on that a little bit, but not much. But yeah, I mean, that's, this is all I've got left for the end of the first row. So, um, yeah. I really need to kind of give it a little bit more love. Once again, I do apologize if I, if I was wrong and I hadn't actually worked on that. I really, really want to say that I was working on the sword a little bit. All right. So, now the rest of these, I know for sure, uh, with 100% certainty that I did actually work on. Alright, guess it doesn't really matter what order. So, this one I was actually working on, not last night, but not before last. Um, I struggled with it a little bit, but now that I've kind of got a, kind of got the hang of it a little bit, um, I've been enjoying it more. I, it's kind of grown on me. So, this is Heartstring Samplery, uh, Christmas Bell Sampler. There you go. Um, and really what the problem is, not the problem, but, um, I, I'm not usually a fan of that kind of, um, of border. So I was having a little bit of issues with the border, but now that I've got a little bit more of the border done, I've kind of got the idea of how it works. So, um, I've, I've been enjoying it more. Um, I did move the, uh, the thing. So, um can see kind of the top there we go there we go um so you can see kind of the top where i worked on and then now i have been working down on here and also the last thing i did um maybe it was last night that i worked on it anyway um is a little bit more of the um lettering so there you go yeah my stitching assistant there you go she's definitely my stitching assistant But anyway, so there you go. That's, um, and you can't see any of the, um, any of the variegation on this, but you can really see the variegation very nicely in the, in the gray. So, which is, what's it called? What is it? It is, yes, Cauldron by Classical Works. Which is a really nice tea, the gray. Actually, that color, that cauldron, it's kind of the color of my car. <laughs> So there you go. Hmm. No. Anyway, I was just, no, I had an idea and then it just was like, no. So, all right, next, this is another one that I have moved. Although actually I think you can see everything that I moved. So I don't think this is gonna be as big of a deal. But this is for the Betty White Tribute Cell. Um, again, this is from Golden Girls. Uh, it's like that old Scandinavian saying, you can lead a herring to water. But you have to walk fast or you'll die. So, uh, Rose Nyland said that. I'm not Betty White's character. So, um, I have been, I have not been a humongous fan of this, uh, frame either, but, oops, uh, or I should say of the, the border. It's not that it's hard, it's just, um, tedious, kind of. And there's no good way to do it without having to stop and start. Oh, hi, bird. Uh, thankfully the cat did not see that bird just right outside the window. Or she would have gone nuts. So, I've been working on this tree thing, I guess it is, a tree. And then also this bird over here. Oh, and the border. So I did, did a good bit on that one. And again, that's also Vicky's stitching buttons. Uh, needle minder. So. Yep. So that is that. Um, once again, that's one that, um... I struggled with a little bit, but I think I've kind of maybe gotten over the hump a bit. Hey, sweetie. Um, and so it's still, it's um, somewhere between a third and a half done, I think. 
and I don't honestly remember when I started. Oh, I do remember when I started it. Duh. Betty White's birthday, which was the, I believe, 7th of January? So, uh, 7th or 11th, something like that. It's right around my husband's birthday, I remember that. Uh, so, you know, that's been a good bit of work and not that long of a amount of time, a couple months. Uh, maybe not quite three months. Yes, I am. I am very, very, uh... I used a chopstick. There we go. I try to think of a good word, but yeah. Mm. That's good stuff. Man, I just, I just don't like it as much as the stash. It's good. I just don't like it nearly as much as the stash. But anyway. Alright. Next. This is one, again, I have definitely been struggling on. I don't think I've really gone over the hump on this one yet, so. The other two, I kind of have gone over that hill and are working better, but this one I'm still struggling with. Now, don't get me wrong, I love it. It's just, I'm, the picture does not do it justice. This is an amazing, amazing, um, piece. I've seen, I've seen it finished. And so, I actually have, I think, shifted this back and forth, because I do have, you can't, oh, well, yeah, you can actually see a little bit here. So I do have a little bit of the stripey stripes going, and um, a little bit of some words, but I'm back on the stars. So I've got the rest of this row, and then all of this row. So I think it's nine left that I have. One, two, three, four. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's nine, sorry. But yeah, so yeah, I'm still working on it. I uh, got a couple done down here, and then I got this one done up here. So that's a few hundred stitches more. Uh, oh, and I also did that. Uh, I did that, and then I also did that. So, and this over here in the corner as well. So yeah, we're getting there. I mean, nine stars out of fifty is not bad. You know, that's not a whole lot left, but. You know, it's still there. Uh, I think once I get to the striping and the letters, I'll be a lot happier. Because, oops, it would help if I put this back, though. Um, so, I, I actually enjoy, for what, not everybody enjoys doing letters, but I actually do enjoy doing letters. And I don't know if it's just because you can literally read out, like, what you've, what you're working on, or, I don't know. Anyway. It's kind of, it, at least for me, it's a lot more mindless sort of stitching. Uh, Alright, so, the last two. The two big ones, which for whatever reason I always seem to, to leave to last. This one is big. And, once again, I do not have a picture for it. I apologize because it's just a frame. This is... Uh, have to be moved. There we go. This is the Fab 50 style. So this is the one where um, um, it's going to be 50 of the um, Disney statues for the 50th anniversary. So it's really just frame. And what I did was I just did those in some backstitch so I know where I am in the, in the thing. Because I mean this is a lot. It's rolled up here and there's more down here and there's more to the side here. So it's huge. Um, so yeah, I mean, I've just been doing that one, that one, that one, I believe. Um, I just finished this one, no, I just finished this one last night, literally last night, like this morning. So, I mean, so there's really, really not much to show you. And this has to be done before June, well, I mean, I was holding a gun to my head to do it, but if I don't get this framed on, now this, I should say, every, so it's, um, as you can tell, the numbers are random as to where they go. This is actually number one. So, I have frame number one done, which is good, but, I mean, honestly, if I fall behind, there is no way, no way I'm catching up. Because they, they're putting them out, like, several a week, two or three a week. And so, I'm going to have to um, really be on my game for that. Alright, and last, but most certainly not least... 
last but first. Anyway, this is going to be, and obviously since I haven't talked about it yet, you know what this is going to be. My favorite, the Long Dog Sampler, You Belong to Me. And like I said, I think this is page three out of, how many pages does this look like? Uh, oh, they're not marked. I thought they were marked. Oh, there they are. 11, 12, so maybe 12. So, maybe this will be a quarter done. And there's a little piece of fuzz. Alright, so enough dilly-dallying. Once again, no, I think I moved this last time. So, um, I was working down, finished the birds, uh, worked on this bird, and then, and that's the legs of a, um, frog. Um, and then we've got the fish, and then I am working right now down here. This is another bird. So this is a big-ass bird over here. So, um, yeah. And so this is... So, oh, there we go. That is... That was just the head of that bird. And then that one is the one I'm working on right now. There's the fish in its mouth. So, there you go. So I haven't worked as much in this one this week as maybe I have in last week's. Oh, wait, hold on. I haven't done it yet. Wait, wait. Mm, my weekly silk rub. Anyway, um, so I haven't worked quite on it as as much this week as I have maybe in past weeks. But I'm not slowing down on it. I promise. That was just because I'm actually trying to work on some more things. Uh, as you can tell, I have a big variety of things that I worked on. And a couple that I may have accidentally not worked on this week, but still showed you. I don't know for sure. All right. Let me just get this stuff over here. I will worry about it later. There you go. All right. Don't annoy the cat, who is now peacefully sleeping. Oh, look at that face. Look at that kitty face. All right. Okay. Anyways, I will not bug her. Well, no, I will bug her, but... You know, that's just what I do. Alright, sorry about that. Okay, and now I don't have her in the... Hmm, okay. Sorry. Just... Anyway, alright, sorry about that. Anyways, I'm just... Uh... Okay. Stop messing with it. Stop messing with it. Okay, let's go ahead and go to um, my haul. Uh, like I said, this is the stuff that I got from Market. The only other thing that I got was a pair of scissors from my LNS, which is not important. So, um, yeah. So, the first one, um, I guess I might as well do these first because it, it'll, this one's a little bit more involved. So, the Forbidden Fiber Company had a superhero pack. I think it was called, like, superhero smalls or something like that so it was a set of threads which i'll show and then you got a um little free pattern to go with uh each one so um you know that's to use each kind of thread um so and these are just freaking amazing uh so you got god of thunder there you go so that's a nice um a little wind outside um, silver and, um, garnet. So that's actually showing pretty well. This is Wanda. That's showing a lot pinker than it is. It's, um, more of a, more of a mauve -y sort of purple. It's not that light. Uh, the I Love You 3000, which is awesome. So, yeah, it's a nice red and gold. Uh, this is the General. So this is kind of a... Uh, different shades of gold and brown. Oh, there you go. That's actually showing up pretty nice. You've got Mad Titan, which is uh, really cool shades of gold and, and uh, blue. That's showing up pretty nicely. Triple Imposter, which is a beautiful kind of stormy blue color. Yeah, it's showing you can... And yeah, as you can tell... So you can see the variegation here. These are all... Well, except for maybe the a uh, couple of them are very variegated. Danvers, which is like red, white, blue, and gold. Let's see if I can. It's kind of washing out. There we go. That's a little bit more of it right there. Yeah, this 
light is washing out a little bit. Uh, Trickster, so that's greens, dark greens, green, blues, and golds, uh, which is beautiful. All right, oh, come on, there we go. The green mean machine, which is purples and blues. Oh, love that color. Mm. Uh, Jolly Green, which is shades of green to purple again, but definitely different shades. Beautiful. And King Forever, beautiful shades of purple, almost to black, or to black. There we go. And uh, unfortunately, the light is really, really not doing them justice. And then Cyborg, which is blues and pinks. There you go. Nice. So, um... That is, uh, as you can tell, so this was uh, 30 for the pack of, I think it's 12. So it's not, not a bad deal, really. And these are six yards each, which is a little random. Not five, not eight, but, you know, that's okay. Um, let me go through these really quick. So we've got the God of Thunder. Oh, whoops, let me put that. That's not, let's not go with it. Uh, okay, come on. There we go. So that... All right, so God of Thunder, and then we've got Danvers. So this is using each of the threads, and then Cyborg, which a friend of mine worked on, and so I've seen that one finished, and it looks amazing. Wanda, and this is the only one I think that's really not very, um, not variegated. But I love her little her little um, headpiece, is what that's supposed to be. The Triple Imposter, of course, for Black Widow. Those pretty blues or greens. And, and then uh, Trickster for Loki, obviously. And then the General for uh, Ross. Thunderbolt Ross, I guess. Or, I don't know. I'm not sure. Anyway, I'm not 100% sure about that one. Anyway. Uh, Mad Titan, I oh, love that. You can see a side view of, um, of Thanos there. Beautiful. I Love You 3000, there we go. It's a nice, uh, nice shot of um, Iron Man's helmet. King Forever, which is beautiful. Obviously, uh, Black Panther. Jolly Green, so for... Um, um, I guess these last two are both for Hulk, I'm not 100% sure. But uh, Jolly Green, and then the Green Mean Machine. So those are, and then obviously the little patterns are on the back, I'm not showing you those. So, um, you know, that's, um, that is, those are the little um, patterns to get with them. I have not actually decided if I want to do the patterns, or if I want to try to find something else that I can use these for. They're only six yards, so it's not going to be much. It's going to be something small. Um, so I, I don't know. I haven't decided how I want to use these yet. But yeah, those are just absolutely freaking beautiful. And that's things I got from, um, um, from the market. Okay, so second, this is Franny Ritter Designs. I licked it so it's fine. So um, this is something that husband and I do to all the time. You know, don't be, if, you know we get a batch of cookies or something. He'll take a cookie out and lick it and say, it's mine. So, that's, uh, I thought that was really funny. And he, he, uh, got a, got a little laugh out of it when I, um, when I showed that to him. So, um, and then there is, uh, is it Parsons Griffin? Yeah, Parsons Ingleside Imaginarium. I'll show it sideways since, um, look at that. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, it's not going to be one of these colors. But, um, because that's quite a bit, actually. So that'd be, what, 15 yards? No, I don't want to get too... So uh, I did pare it down to this one from Ingleside. Uh, Plum Street. Even though I don't have any corgis, I'm obviously an Anglophile, and I, I love corgis. I know somebody who has corgis. Uh, I actually have two people who have corgis. One person locally, and then another who was a Stitcher, NBC Stitcher, I believe his name is. Um... He has Augie, who is an adorable Corgi. But, uh, I do love Corgi. So this is Corgi Caboodle. There you go. And look at those. Look at them Corgis. So cute. 
I'm still trying to convince my husband to uh, give to let me have a corgi. I might do those in a color other than pink. I'm I'm obviously I'll still do their ears in pink, but I'm not a huge fan of the huge pink flowers. So we'll see. But uh, that's somewhere down the road. And then the last one, which should come as no surprise to anybody, Luminous Fiber Arts, Gathering Honey. Uh, once again, I will definitely do this in uh, one color variegated. I don't know whether I'll do it in this color or not. Uh, what color is that? Um, doesn't actually say in here. It should say somewhere. It is, oh, Bell Swat Teddy Bear. Well, yeah, I'm definitely not doing it on that one, then. And it says you need two. So, once again, I couldn't use one of those. So, yeah, well, I'm definitely not getting Bell Swat. I'm not, uh, I'm not made of money, so. And those tend to be expensive. So, I will find something for my stash. Something nice and honey-ish color. All right. Well, we're actually not doing too bad time-wise. Uh, once again, I hope I am not talking too fast. If I am, please comment and tell me to slow the heck down. Um, which is funny because normally, as Southerners, Southerners have a tendency to speak slower. Um, not always, obviously, but as a general rule. But, uh, yeah. All right. Is that... Okay, we're fine with that. Okay, no problems. Okay, well, I guess all we're going to have is the of the weeks, and then we'll be done. So this video will not be as long as I thought it would be, which is good. Um, I don't want to keep you guys too long. I know, you know, I'm more of a fan of a video that's 30 to 45 minutes. That's usually my sweet spot, unless I'm... Um, just want to stitch and not think about something, and then I'll put on uh, some of the longer ones. I definitely have some people who hover around an hour that I watch consistently just because, you know, I, I like them, and I don't mind listening to them for an hour or more. So, um, anyway, the Stitchy website of the week. Um, this is going to be another one from Ukraine. Um, you know, obviously, I, I definitely want to um, send... Uh, any sort of um, assistance I can over that way. So, you know, I, I'm definitely always on the lookout for new Ukrainian patterns. Um, she has a really, really cute bee one. She's got a lot of kind of forest animal -y ones. Um, and, and she's got some other stuff too. But um, she, kind of, she does kind of that, um, you know, Russian, you know, that sort of style of, um, you know, backstitch and... Uh, <coughs> excuse me. Um, you know, animals with with a good bit of backstitch. It's you know, it, you, you guys know the aesthetic I'm ta talking about, and uh, it's aesthetic I really like. Um, and yeah, the, she has a bee in there, which um, I may end up getting sooner rather than later. So definitely, we're checking her out. And once again, um, the links will be below. Um, I have the links to the stuff that I got from Market, as well as um the um the, of the weeks so i always have those down below so. um the non situ website of the week um i just found this this week um there's a lot of places and i've talked about pluto.tv before uh excuse me i'm sorry a place where you can uh, watch different things for free um they have a whole bunch of different streaming channels um with everything from there's like a perry mason channel there's a Rescue 911 channel. Um, there's an Iron Chef channel, which is my favorite. Uh, there's a couple of game show channels, which are really fun. I like those. Um, there's one that's just prices right, actually. I think it's all Bob Barker era, era uh, prices right, but I'm not 100% sure. But anyway, so I found another place. I'm sorry, I'm just really want tea right now. Mm. That's so good, and it's finally cooled down enough. Um, I found another place that you can stream. I think this is one of those ones where you can watch for free. Well, I know you can watch for free. But, um, you can also, um, I think you can pay and not have ads. Uh, Pluto TV does have ads, obviously, but they're not that bad. Um, so it's called Crackle. It's just crackle.com. Um, I don't like the selection 
as much. It has a lot of kind of off-brand movies. The ones that were kind of rip-offs of other movies. Um, they also do have some classic movies, though. Some from the 40s and 50s, and they do have some um, of the crappy kind of, um, you know, B horror movies not really horror horror but you know what what they considered horror in like the 60s so more like suspense um so um and they do have um they do have some documentaries as well which are interesting um so the selection isn't as good but these are not streaming they're on demand so that's one good thing over uh, over pluto when you go in with pluto it's streaming so you know if you're 20 minutes into a show, you're 20 minutes into a show. Um, so, um, but it's got, a, it's got a decent selection. And again, it's free. Um, I found, um, I watched the Imitation Game on there, which I actually have on DVD. But, um, you know, when you're too lazy to get up and actually put on a DVD, eh, there you go. Uh, and honestly, if you guys have not seen the Imitation Game, you really should. It's um, very interesting. Um bittersweet um it's a it's based on a true story um so in world war ii there was a man named alan turing and him and his group um worked in the south of london to break the enigma code for the germans uh, because when they broke that enigma code they would know what's going on they would be able to read the messages that they were sending back and forth and so, like I said, it's based on a true event. I mean, you know, obviously with, with movies, they, you know, they change a few things around and, um, you know, do a few things for, for drama purposes. But um, Alan Turing is literally the father of modern computing. The work that he did paved the way for what computers are now. And his story is really a tragic one to be honest with you i mean i'm not gonna lie it's it's does not exactly have it has a like i said it's a bittersweet ending but um it's definitely worth checking out um i mean uh, i'll full disclosure obviously bendit cumberbatch is the lead because you know that's the reason that i found the movie but i really enjoy the movie it's got Kira knightley um hugh bonneville and there's a few other, there's a few other people who you've probably seen the movies, but you'll be like, oh, I never recognize that face. Um, the guy, and I'm sorry that I don't remember his name. Um, if any of you have watched the Watchmen movie, not the TV show, not the series, um, the guy who played um, Adrian Veidt, um, Ozymandias, uh, is in this too. He has a good part. And I'm so sorry that I don't remember his name. I should. But, um, but anyway, so it's got a really good cast. Other than, you know, uh, other than cover match. But, um, but yeah, so I'll stop gushing about that movie now. But yeah, so watch Crackle. Um, again, it's free. So there's no, you know, nothing you have to install or anything like that. Um, the, you know, the ads are fine. Um, and like Pluto, they tend to kind of do the same sort of, they have a small rotation of commercials. Um, so that's, that's a limitation in both Crackle and on Pluto, but it's still worth it. Honestly, it's still worth it. So, yeah. Um, all right. So now that I have, um, droned on about a movie that you guys may or may not have any interest in, um, uh, let me go ahead and do the B facts and then I'll be good to go. Um, Eating honey can make you smarter. Um, it has an antioxidant that improves brain function. So, there you go. So, enjoy your honey. I have honey back there. Uh, back there. There you go. Um, I really need to, like, break into it. So, I really should use it. I should use it in my tea. That's where I should use it. But, anyway. Uh, Alright. So, I guess that is about it. Uh, let me see if I can move the camera over. There you go. So, from me, and from a very sleepy Selena, who is probably going to attack me if I keep petting her. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I saw that little tail twitch. That means stop. So, um, we will see you later. Bye.